Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.13 has been released. Here's Minecraft Snapshot 18W22A. As we're drawing ever closer to the full release of Minecraft 1.13, these snapshots turn ever more into bug fixes. My name is Sliced Lime, let me guide you through the fixes in this version. Let's start with gameplay fixes. If you had a railway with a bend in it and placed a new rail to the east or south of the curve, then the rail would switch and turn to your new rail instead, that's fixed in this version. The sniper dual advancement could be achieved with a trident instead of a bow, that's also fixed in this version. If you had a villager spawn egg and you used it to right click on a villager instead of spawning a baby villager, that would open the trade menu and that's fixed in this version. If the player was at a certain height in a world above oceans, then dolphins would spawn and keep spawning until you had thousands of them at the same time, that's fixed in this version. And the opposite problem of that, ocelots and parrots didn't spawn naturally at all, that's also fixed. More underwater stuff, if you had a conduit and you put iron bars or glass panes next to it, they would connect up as if it was solid, that's fixed in this version. And if you were swimming, then you could stand up even though there was a block above you. A whole bunch of world generation and upgrading fixes in this version as well. Trees could generate with leaves that were too far away from the logs, and so they would decay immediately, that's fixed in this version. If you upgraded a world that had floating carpets in it, then the carpets would disappear. Rails and some certain other blocks that were next to chunk borders would cause lots of the blocks to update when you upgraded from Minecraft 1.12.2 that's fixed in this snapshot. And if you had a portal along the x-axis, then that would break when you upgraded when certain other blocks were above or near them. Graphical fixes? The water tint didn't apply when the water block was next to a glass block that's fixed in this version. And the particles from a soul sand bubble column, the downwards facing bubble columns, weren't centered in the block. And then some pixel fixes. There was a white dot and a creamy horse tail texture. There were green pixels on the iron horse armor. And there was a dark pixel on the tropical fish bucket. Commands and tech fixes. If you had destroy in a set block or fail on a container, then the container did not drop its contents, that's fixed in this version. If you used slash data on a player, then it didn't show the selected item data tag, and trying to set that as a path would be invalid. The slash game mode command didn't provide any success message, and the team prefixes and suffixes would reset after restarting your world. If you had an ID tag in the tag tag of a spawn egg, then that would overwrite the spawned entity's ID that's fixed in this version. And a structure block fix as well, there wasn't any error message if you saved a structure that contained uppercase or other invalid characters. And finally, the fish mobs were missing their translation strings. Now with all those fixes, these are still development versions, can crash, can corrupt your world, so if you do try them, try them on a test world or make sure you have a backup of your world. With that said, if you do want to try it, head into your Minecraft launcher, go to the Launch Options tab and enable snapshots there. You'll get a message, read that and click OK, then head back to your News tab, where now in the drop-down box next to the Play button, you should have a latest snapshot profile. Select that, start the game, and now you'll be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 18W22A. And that was all for this time, my name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.